Hi, it's Carrie here. Today we are looking at some of my new animals for the watering hole with some interesting facts. Then some of the existing family will join them at the watering hole. I really like my new boma fence. A boma is a livestock enclosure to keep predators out. The boma fence is made from 12 smaller fences which fit together to make the size fence you need. Crocodile baby. Baby crocodiles hatch from eggs. Nests are built on the water's edge from sand, mud and weeds and are really just shallow holes. These nests are only a few inches high. A crocodile egg is about the size of a goose egg. The temperature of the nest determines the gender of the baby. When the mother crocodile hears the grunts of her babies, she helps the hatchlings push out of the nest. The babies themselves get out of the eggs using their egg tooth. The fox is a member of the dog family. Foxes live in dens, which are underground burrows. Foxes are most active at night. Their eyes have excellent night vision. They catch prey by using a high pounce. This technique is one of the first things cubs learn as they begin to hunt. This is my tigress. She has babies. Baby tigers are also known as cubs. They're nursed by their mother. Most litters are made up of two to four young cubs. Tiger cubs are born blind and are completely dependent on their mother. The tiger cub's eyes will open sometime between six to 12 days. However, they do not have their full vision for a couple of weeks. It is only after two months that they begin eating meat until they are completely weaned. Tiger cubs leave their mother when they are around two years of age. And here's the cubs, they are so gorgeous. Tiger cubs begin to hunt with their mother and siblings between the age of eight and 10 months. The tigress is primarily concerned with teaching her young how to hunt and protect themselves. So you can see how they match up to the mum there for a feed. Blue Wildebeest Baby. Calves are born in February and March each year at the beginning of the rainy season. A calf eats its first grass at about 10 days, although it still relies on its mother for at least four months. Calves learn to walk within minutes of birth and follows its mother and stays close to her to avoid getting lost or killed by waiting predators. Within days they are able to keep up with the herd. The river otter is a carnivorous mammal from the weasel family. It lives in a burrow at the edge of the water. Otters are very active hunters, searching and chasing prey through water or scouring the rivers and the seabed for many hours each day. They eat fish, turtles, crayfish and amphibians and like to play and splash in the water. This is a hippopotamus calf. The male is called a bull, the female a cow, and the baby a calf. The females are more likely to aggressively attack if their young are threatened. She leaves them in the water while she feeds on the shore. They live on the banks of rivers and lakes. Hippopotamus is the third largest land animal after the elephant and white rhinoceros and are found in Africa.
A hippopotamus likes to spend a large amount of time in the water to cool off. They have a barrel shaped body, short legs and a huge mouth. Hippos can run fast and be extremely aggressive, especially if they feel threatened and they are considered to be in the top 10 most dangerous animals in Africa. This is a white rhinoceros. Both black and white rhinoceroses are actually grey. They are different not in colour but in lip shape. The black rhino has a pointed upper lip while its white relative has a squared lip. The difference in lip shape is related to the animal's diets. Rhinos are short sighted and bad tempered which makes them very dangerous. They'll charge at full force and use their horns to kill or injure what they think might be a danger or annoyance to them. There are two species, the black rhino and the white rhino. The white rhino, which is really grey, is the second largest land mammal after the elephant. White rhinos live on Africa's grassy plains where they sometimes gather in groups of as many as a dozen individuals. This is the white rhino baby. Black rhinos live in savannah, shrub and tropical bush areas. They eat leaves, bushes, small tree branches and shoots. Rhinos are large mammals. The rhinoceros has a thick protective skin but it can be quite sensitive to sunburns and insect bites which is why they like to wallow so much. When the mud dries it acts as a protection from the sunburn and insects. An adult rhino can run up to speeds of 38 miles per hour or 64 kilometers per hour for short durations at a time. Remember to keep your distance. Never get in between a mother and her baby or anywhere near an older male. Grizzly bear cub. You can recognize grizzly bears by the hump on their back and the white tip fur on their shoulders and back. The hump is made of muscles. Cubs will stay with their mother for two to four years. She is very protective and if you come close to her cubs she can easily kill you. Cubs can climb trees when they are young. Grizzly bears can swim well, run fast and have good eyesight and an extremely good sense of smell. And now some of the other family members will join the new animals of the watering hole.
Thank you for watching my video. Stay for more fun videos at Super Fun Reviews. See you again soon. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you. For more dinosaur videos, click the picture.